Hi guys, here Rachana Ranade here and I welcome you all to my new episode Q&A episode especially which is dedicated for IPOs. Recently there was a spurt in the number of IPOs wherein we could see uh, two three IPOs coming back to back. In fact, uh, I released uh, a separate video on Prince Pipes IPO as well pretty recently. Uh, so uh, I there were many viewers who were asking me a lot of questions about IPO. So I thought of collecting all these questions and making a separate Q&A series Ask Krishna show. for ipo so let's start right away the very first question is by sangeeta agarwal hi sangeeta and uh, the question is can you also explain the meaning of ipo okay so ipo in short version is uh, nothing but when the promoters of the company want to raise additional funds what could be the purpose purpose could be different purpose could be number 1 they want to expand the business purpose number 2 they want money for their working capital per, uh, per, so working capital means day to day running of the business uh, purpose number 3 could be even let's say they have taken a lot of debts okay they have taken a lot of loans and they want to repay the loans purpose can be anything the moment they want more money from a lot of different category of investors which could in- include people like you and me it could include banks it could include big financial institutions then the company comes up with an initial public offer okay so i hope initial public offer is simple it is when the company offers shares to people like you and me for the very first time that's known as an initial public offer if a second round of funding is demanded by the company then it is called as a fpo it is called as a further public offer or sometimes called as a follow up public offer is also i hope this one is clear second question is asked by manjunath gargi and uh, so hi manjunath and the question is how do we know how much is the ipo subscribed on the last day where do we get this information let's go through one by one so this is this website chittorgarh.com it's chitorgarh is a place in rajasthan i don't know what is the connection but uh, it's a very beautiful site as far as the ipos are concerned okay again this is not a sponsored video by chitorgarh i genuinely feel it's a good one as far as ipos are concerned okay so i'll show you a quick example for example ujivan small finance bank and if you want to know how much was subscribed on what day okay so i just tapped on that then you have something known as subscriptions live i just click on that i scroll down and then i come to this small section which says on december 2nd how much the issue was oversubscribed for example the qib portion was subscribed 0.23 times but on the very first day retail portion was subscribed 8.61 times that's huge december 3 whatever december 4 whatever so just to give you a rough idea rough idea total is like 165.66 times and what does this mean if company has offered uh, 106 uh, has offered one share okay company wants to sell one share 165 is the demand it is that big okay and this goes on updating every single day it generally gets updated in the evening okay so that's where you can check it very easily it's a free website it's not a paid website at all second question which is asked is we heard that promoters are paying off some bad debts using this money raised is that true will this be considered as a risk factor okay so paying debt with money that you are raising from shareholders is not bad at all assume that the company is doing very well their operating profit is fantastic okay so just as an example by selling 100 rupees of products assume that their profit operating profit is let us say rupees 40 but out of this 40 50 rupees you have to pay off as interest on loans then you finally go into a loss of 10 rupees okay in spite of having a good operating profit you are at a 10 rupees loss towards the end so to reduce such a risk what companies do is that they might come up with an ipo they u- they would use this money to repay the debt okay and that is why what will happen their profitability will increase so if a company has a very good operating profit but if they have a low pat or a negative pat just because of the interest on loans then i feel it should not be a problem at all you can very well invest into such a company of course looking at other parameters as well next question is asked by sun moon star okay so the universe kya bolu bhi main okay anyways i i am running out of any thought right now sun moon star okay why promoters are selling their stake isn't it a risk factor that investors should consider okay i'll give you a simple example assume that i start a company uh, in this year and uh, i start a company with a face value of 10 rupees so i've put in 10 rupees from my pocket i raised money i raised capital for my business i purchased certain equipments the recording equipments everything and i started my business okay 
I'm running the business two years down the line, three years down the line, five years down the line, ten years down the line. Okay, now what happens is that my brand name has grown now. Wow, let this happen. But let's say my brand name has grown after whatever, ten years, why? Ten years also, five years is also fine with me. Okay, so after five years, let us say, I feel that it's time that my company does not get restricted to selected few people. But I'm sure like people like you will also be interested to invest into my company. Why not? Yes. You have to say yes. So if that be so, I will sell my shares. Okay. So there are two concepts. One is offer for sale and one is a uh, fresh issue. So what I can do is that instead of, uh, instead of issuing fresh shares, okay, making fresh shares, issuing them to you, I might say that I will sell my own shares to you. Okay. One more important point is that when promoters are selling their stake post IPO, it could be even because of SEBI norms. As per SEBI guidelines, you are not, as a promoter, you are not allowed to hold more than 75% shares in your own company. That's as per the current laws. Okay. So I hope you have understood this. Promoter selling their stake is not bad at all. Ramesh Krishnan, wanna come? Hi ma'am, I am a beginner in stock market. I have doubt regarding IPO. Can we sell the allotted stocks on the listing day or there is any restriction like lock-in period for the allotted stocks? No, there is no lock-in period at all. Uh, but just for an added piece of information there is something known as an anchor investor okay so anchor investors have to be locked into the ipo for some x number of years it could be one year two years three years uh, there there is a legal compliance for that okay so you can check that out but just to visualize this concept so like assume this is a boat and the so the boat should not go or flow away in the water you have something known as an anchor okay the anchor holds the boat tightly Similarly, an anchor investor holds on to the shares tightly. They are not allowed to sell on the listing day. Okay, so maybe the name is derived from anchor which holds the ship. An anchor investor holds on to the shares. They are not allowed to sell on day one. Okay, there's a SEBI guideline for that as to how, how early they can sell off the shares. I hope this is clear as well. So next question is about, uh, okay, first it is asked by Natarajan Babu. Uh, what is H&I category? Have, uh, can anyone apply in that band? And... Will it increase my probability of getting the IPO if it were in high demand? I kindly talk about this in the Ask Krishna show. Want to try that band in SBI card IPO. Okay. Uh, so Natarajan, understand HNI is high net worth individual category. <clears throat> you might be getting a feeling that what is there in her hand. The problem is that there is a construction going right next to our building. I don't have a soundproof studio till now. So we generally work... Uh, in proper timing so that there's less disturbance in the video but today the workers are refusing they're they are, they're like very enthusiastic maybe they have listened to my video and they're fully charged up they want to do their work like you know full on so i have no other option but to take one more mic maybe i'll be clearer and louder so with that let me continue my show uh, natranjan natrajan babu has asked the next question he says what is hni category can anyone apply in that band will it increase my probability of getting the ipo if it was in a very high demand. Kindly talk about this in the Ask Krishna show. Want to try that in SBI card IPO. Okay, fair enough. HNI is known as a high net worth individual category. And uh, people who want to invest for more than 2 lakh rupees in a specific IPO, uh, then they are called as the HNI individuals. So in HNI individuals, do you know which people come? It's like, uh, it could be like Sachin Tendulkar, Amitabh Bachchan, Shah Rukh Khan, Natarajan Babu. All these people will come in the HNI category, right? So these are the ones who can, who can, I mean, who may, who, they have a choice to apply for more than two lakhs. Okay, so that's the category. Uh, it does not definitely increase your probability of getting the IPO uh, because please understand, if retail individual investors are applying in such a big number, HNIs are also going to apply in that big number because the number of shares that will be applied in the HNI category is going to be equally high or maybe a little bit higher so i don't think it would be a wise decision to invest in the hni category so next question is by jibin achan achan kunju uh, achan kunju baby okay jibin achan kunju baby sorry if i have pronounced wrongly can you talk about ipo versus share what are the advantages and disadvantages of having ujjivan ipo or share okay so if i'm talking about uh, ipo versus share ipo is like uh, you're getting a chance to invest in the share for the very first time. If the IPO comes at a good price, then generally you, you get, a, I mean, you have a probability of getting a good return in a short span of time. Uh, just as an example, uh, there was an IPO for uh, one of the rating agencies. 
uh, whose IPO had come up at three hundred rupees and it got listed almost around at nine hundred rupees. Same happened with DMart. Same happened with IRCTC. Handsome gains. So if you are talking about investing in secondary market, you might not get a very big amount right away in one day or two. But again, that that all depends because there are many IPOs which get listed at a price lower than its issue price also. Okay, so I can't give you a single thumb rule answer for your question. Yeah, so that's it. So Ujivan IPO or share? If you have not gotten Ujivan IPO uh, in your initial allotment, then uh, you you can think of buying the share in the secondary market also. That's fine. Okay, so next question is by Mr. Dilip D. Hello, ma'am. When is the HDP IPO coming? I think it's HDB. Uh, will you please provide a presentation on that? Uh, it is expect to expected to come in twenty twenty, but the date has not yet been announced. So. Let's see. Sooner the better. Next question is by Salvation. Wow, what names today I'm getting? Ah, huh? sun, moon, stars, and all that. Hmm. Thanks for the amazing explanation. What is book building issue? What are the other types of IPO issues can be there? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I feel again, it's good that you are asking, and it's good that I'm explaining. <laughs> Anyways, I I do have a separate series on basics of stock market. Uh, do check out my link. Uh, my website is rachanaranade. dot in. Uh, i have taken a separate series you many of you might be knowing but just for just in case if you don't know about it uh, i've talked about 65 plus concepts about stock market and in that i've i guess two full lectures that's like more than 3 hours i've talked only about ipos so much much more in detail uh, this question is on what is a big book building issue uh, book building issue is basically uh, it's a big one to explain but cut down cut it it down, down in short uh, it's an issue where uh, the merchant bankers okay much in bankers in simple words i can put them as consultants okay consultants will uh, try to find out what could be a price band okay so it's it's some it's a very crude way of explanation okay but you can imagine some something like this a consultant goes door to door this does not happen but just understanding purpose ke liye a consultant goes door to door and asks that if you were to buy hdb ipo hdp ipo how much would you be ready to pay for that the consultant gives an it gives a presentation then a specific price will be quoted by the customer he would do several such presentations several such prices will be quoted based on these prices the uh, consultant who is a merchant banker would would fix a price band okay so lower band upper band so just to give you an example prince pipes it had fixed at 177 to 178 that's a price band okay and here in who gets the opportunity to finalize the final price the opportunity to fix the final price is given to people like you and me so company can't decide whether it's 178 or it's 177 or what they just give a price band we have to choose what price we are opting for okay uh, one other type of issue she has asked for uh, or he or she whatever salvation has asked for other type of ipo issues fixed price issue their company says we are offering shares at 200 rupees period we are not asking you whether 200 to 203 what should be the actual price that would be a fixed price issue Okay, so two types of issues: book building issue, fixed price issue. But more popular is book building issue. Well, that's it from my side. I hope you have liked this uh, Q and A IPO special, which I did after a long time, I guess. Um, in the new year, we are planning lot more video series. So I hope you have subscribed to my channel, and I hope you are sharing my videos to many of your friends. So keep sharing, keep viewing, keep watching. Try enhancing your knowledge as much as possible. Keep that as a target for yourself in year 2020 that you will watch a lot of my videos and you will share it to maximum of your friends. Yes. So that's it from my side. Jai Hind. Bye bye.